Chris Benders and Shark, Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well, and looks like we're gonna go have a grand old time. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So our Vegas trip was off to a good start, and it was time to check in to the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, let's get inside and see if we can uh, work $20 into some magic. Let's get started. We had booked our room through the My Vegas Slots app per usual, which offers an MGM Grand West Wing King room at booking. Usually I ask for an upgrade at check-in anyway, but this time I thought I'd see if the West Wing rooms were really as bad as people say. So I popped over to the MGM Grand website to take a virtual tour. It really wasn't what I was looking for. Yeah, no windows, just mirrors here. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think I'm feeling that. When I finally got to the Grand, the security guard took my temperature and sent me straight into the line. I had the whole place to myself, and my check-in agent was happy to take care of me. I asked for what kind of room I was booked in, and she said I had a West Wing King room booked. I wasn't digging the idea, so I straight up said, hey, is there any complimentary upgrade that you can get me? It was 4th of July weekend, so I wasn't holding my breath, but I handed her the 20 anyway and told her to take a shot. After about 2 or 3 minutes of clicking around on her keyboard, the agent had told me that she had me on a high floor in the Grand Tower now. Unfortunately, the Staywell rooms were booked up, so she got me two queen beds in the main Grand Tower instead. Which was nice because the lines to the West Wing King still ended up filling up. This kind of surprised me since the West Wing was supposed to be closed at the time, but they might have actually opened it up just to accommodate the extra traffic for 4th of July. Weaseled our way out of the West Wing. That's gonna be floors 21 through 29 here. So let's go ahead and see how that goes. And there's the beautiful fountain. So now, Spinners and Sharks, let's head upstairs and see what we can see. Okay. So we're officially on 28. And I think we're room, what number is this? What number did the card say? I think 136. Yep, 136, okay. Okay, so we are here in room 136, that's the 300s, 136, that's the 400s, ah, there we go, 28 through 141, and we're looking for 136. Alright guys, looks like we're the last inside room over here, 136. Yeah, that's one sealed door, the old card. Let's go. <laughs> Woo, alright! Okay, so now let's have a general tour of the room. And you guys know I always start with these with the bathroom. Because I like to see what I'm getting into in the bathroom there. Okay, so bathroom, we got a big mirror, all sorts of lit up over here, so you can, as TVP would say, kind of glamify yourself before you get out there on the strip. Also includes a mirror over here, close-up mirror, just in case you can go ahead and, in case you want to, you know, kind of get a close shave going or something like that, do that sort of thing. So, that's always fun, kind of see me in there. Otherwise... Let's see. And then, of course, we have the art on the wall here. Toilets over here, no separate water closet. I prefer rooms with a separate water closet, but you can always have that. And the tub isn't too bad over here. It's a tub and a shower on one. Really kind of remind, I think this is a grand tower room. So that means it doesn't have the separate uh, shower, separate steam shower. I think those are stay well and above, which is cool. Fortunately, they didn't have any stay wells at check-in, so see how we did here. Closet's a pretty good size, plenty of space to kind of hang up your jacket 
and put down your bags. So we're gonna do just that. We're gonna put our bag down over here. And then let's see what the rest of the room looks like. Okay, now that we've got a little light, we can actually have a look at the room proper. So as we enter to our immediate left, we'll notice a full body mirror. So before you hit the strip, before you get ready to go downtown, you can go ahead and make sure everything looks good over here. Check your jacket, check your jeans. I've got a tear in mine over here because I'm rugged like that. We're gonna change out of those before we uh, hit the strip tonight, so that's good. Now moving on to the main room. Looks like we've got some lovely art on the walls over here. Kind of art deco. And then two queen size beds here. So if we're checking the bed, doesn't feel too bad. Definitely a firm mattress here. I prefer a firm mattress and you get uh, four pillows with it too, so that's good. And it's looking pretty clean. Let's just go ahead and check under the sheets. Uh, yeah, I can definitely say, yeah, that's looking pretty good at first glance over here. You can get under the, uh, under the mattress there to do your checks. So that's a good thing to do. And that's also the same on this end over here. And then you have the big Samsung telly over here. I think that's a good 38, maybe 40 inch too. So we have that in the room. Lamps on each end. And then a sitting area. So a couple of chairs, big enough for one person or two people if you're cozy enough, if you know what I mean. And of course, you've got yourself a sitting desk here. You can go ahead and work on your vlogs if you're a vlogger, or work with your laptop if you're a laptopper, or if you just want someone to put your things, you can put your things down over here. Other side over here, we have of course got the mini fridge, and that looks like it was not sealed. Uh, not sealed here, so I don't think I'm going to participate in any of it. Doesn't look sealed at all. A little concerned about that, gonna have to check my charges and make sure nothing comes up. Also, this part of the mini bar is empty too. So that's something to consider. Uh, looks like there's space for another mini fridge over here. So if you're diabetic or you have any special medication that requires recharging, you can do that. And then places to plug in your laptop or your computer, or, uh, your PlayStation or what have you. Though I do question what happened to these USB chargers over here, that can't be safe. Gonna have to look into that. Otherwise, we got some drawers over here. They don't actually have anything special in them. But it's a good place to put clothes if you want to get unpacked. Go from there. Ice bucket per usual with glasses. And then we come back over to the nightstand. So they have a card within room dining, so you can actually go ahead and scan the uh, scan the QR code here with your cell phone, and then you can actually do your in-room dining from there. Phone to call out, and even the remote has been cleaned for your safety, so that's pretty neat. And what do we have here? We've got oh, it's a clean kit. MGM Grand actually pro provides you with a clean kit here. Let's check this out. I kind of want to empty this out. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so the clean kit that you get from MGM Grand. You get a consumer mask over here. You're going to have to try that on a little later. Oh, a lot of hand sanitizer. <laughs> and then you also get a door opener as well as a screen toucher here. So check that out. It's got a rubber tip for capacitive uh, touch screens, which is basically everything now. And then you also get this neat little carrying case to carry it all in. And it's even 3.8 fluid ounces, so it's just barely over what you need to fly back home, but you can probably fly back home with whatever's left in here. Now I brought my own hand sanitizer, so I'm not too worried about it, but you know, just FYI. And then your safe is here in the nightstand, so you can enter your own code. and lock it just like that. And then when you're ready to unlock it, she unlocks just like that, 
Got just enough space for your valuables, like a laptop, maybe a couple electronics that you're a little concerned about people having. And then when you need to lock it back up, you put in a code, it can even be a different code. And then you can lock it. Close her up. That's that. And up top over here is actual storage, so for non-valuable items. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and have a look at the view. So they could definitely use some cleaning on the uh, on the windows here. I don't think these have been cleaned for a little while, but it's hard to get these uh, windows up here on these high floors here, and we're on a pretty high floor. You can see the signature at MGM Grand. We've actually stayed there before. And then the entire pool area is over there too. Otherwise, not much of a view. It's an all right view, but we're not gonna be spending a lot of time up here anyway, so that doesn't matter much to me. All right then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we meet, I think I want to do something a little more focused on a larger casino as is. Maybe we should go back to Luxor and see what that's looking like after the opening. But until then, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Viva